I greet you all at home in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Paul says in the book of Ephesians chapter 6 verse 11, Finally, brethren, be strong in the Lord and in the power of his might. Put on the whole armor of God that you may be able to stand against the wiles of the devil. There is a greatest battle which is fought in this world. This battle is not a visible one. Yes, we had World War I, which was fought, and many people were killed in World War I. We had World War II, when the weapons were advanced, it was fought, and millions and millions of people died because of that war. We had the Cold War, which was fought, and the, and the Vietnam, Vietnam War, which was fought, and a lot of people lost their lives because of the wars that have been fought in this world. This is not a safe home. This is not a safe place. One of the astronauts, when he went uh, up to the moon, he looked at the planet and he said, how peaceful the planet is from up there. But I want to say it is not a reality because in reality, we are in a war. The world is in a commotion. I want to tell you about a war which was fought in heaven and this war escalated and even came Came to our planet the Bible says that Satan who, who was Lucifer at that time fought against Michael who is Christ but unfortunately he was defeated and he was cast down into this world there is a war and there is a battle which is being fought even today when we see what is happening today there is gender-based violence that is happening in the world people are losing their lives as a result of commotions people are looting shops and there is a lot that is happening in this world I want to say it is as a result of this war which started in heaven a peaceful place as it was Satan was cast out into this planet he knows the joys of heaven and he will make sure that he does not leave us alone he will make sure that he does not leave us peaceful as we are with Christ but I want to say to you that in in the midst of this battle in the midst of this war there is a savior who has defeated Satan why don't you choose Jesus in this battle why don't you choose the one who died for you at the cross in the midst of of this battle that has been fought between Satan and, and, and Christ himself. Choose Jesus today because he conquered Satan from the cross. He conquered Satan long time ago. When you choose Jesus, he will be greater because he is in you than the one who is in the world. May the good Lord bless you.